and they all lived happily ever after. And I just got paid $500. I just earned money by reading a book. I mean, that was definitely my dream job when I was 15 and thought that that was a real viable career. Um, but it wasn't long before I figured out, like most of you probably know, nobody's really going to pay you money for reading books, not just for, you know, reading the books you want, finishing them and like getting a paycheck. Uh, in my dream world, that is a reality, but we're not there yet. Luckily, in this incredible internet world of ours, there are ways that you can make money by reading books in other methods. Also, I want you to know that if I sound stuffy during this video, it's because I have a very bad cold. So uh, hopefully you appreciate my dedication to my craft that I'm here filming and smiling anyway. Facet number one is social media. So this is going to be your book talk, your Instagram, etc. In case you're like me, not really sure what book talk, bookstagram, booktube, etc. is, basically they're just corners of that social media platform where everybody talks about books. You'll notice yourself falling into book talk if you watch a lot of TikTok videos about books. The algorithm will learn that's what you like, and soon you'll get tons of videos about book plots and book recommendations and book rants and that kind of thing. That's all this this refers to. Number two are jobs. So there are jobs that will pay you to read books. These include narrating jobs, editing jobs, and more. I'll cover a bunch of different job boards and uh, different maybe unusual jobs that you hadn't thought of in this video as well. And finally, there are review sites. Review sites, they are actually a surprise to me. You can get a lot of really, really great books. I will list a bunch of them based on your skills and your interests. I'll also cover some like bonus places that I found that you can make money reading books. Um, one of them was like an app. So get ready for that. Okay, let's jump into the video. Do you have anything you want to say? She sniffs for the camera. One of the most standard and in my opinion, fun ways to make money by reading books is it works like this. You get a social media presence and you get known for um, being a kind of bookfluencer, if you will. Slowly over time, you develop an audience, you develop a little bit of notoriety, and eventually you get paid for reading books that way. Here are a few of the best ways to make money by reading books by posting on social media. So number one, post your video thoughts on book talk or bookstagram or book tube. And the good news is book talk is one of the best ways to make money by reading books. First, create an account and make it clear that you're all about book reviews, book recommendations. Then just start reviewing books. I would recommend giving this a little bit of thought. How can you make your video stand out? How can you gain a reputation for being the booktuber to follow amongst all the other places? Maybe you can only review books in Spanish. Maybe you can only review books that um, are longer than 800 words, some kind of niche. You're going to need an angle. Then join the creator fund. So I think Instagram is no longer doing reels, so you'll have to do brand sponsorships there. But YouTube has a really great partner program. I earn about $1,000 a month through the partner program making videos like this. Uh, I know a lot of booktubers make similar or even more amounts of money. Um, on TikTok, you can join the creator fund. In 2021, Kate Jacobs went on the record to state that TikTok's creator fund only nets you like two to four cents per thousand views. So you'd need to get like 25,000 views on TikTok to earn even just a dollar. Um, but sponsorships are also a really lucrative and great way to make some extra money by posting your thoughts on book talk, bookstagram, booktube. Create the video once and cross post it across all the different channels that you find most fulfilling or most rewarding for you. Method number two to make money by reading books is to blog about your book reviews. I consider this to be a true homage to books because what better way, what more right way, what more fulfilling way to make money by reading books than by writing about your thoughts about the written word. Did you follow all that? There's also a less demanding schedule than with a lot of social media, other kinds of social media. As long as you can post once per week, you're doing great and that is a much more easy posting schedule to stick to than a lot of like the multi per day schedules that places like TikTok ask for. Just post articles, whack ads on that bad boy, and you're good to go. Now, to be honest, it may take a while for you to gain traction. Consistent posting is necessary and you can't just post once and expect to earn money straight away. But 
the way I think of this is if you're already thinking about books, you're already reading books and enjoying it, you may as well write up your reviews, post it on a, a website. It can even be a free website while you wait until you grow to um, develop enough of an audience that you can make more investments in like a domain website. This is just posting them on your website in addition, in addition to or instead of Goodreads. You may as well do it. It might take a while, but you're along for the ride and you'll enjoy yourself no matter what. Number three, and my personal favorite, post about your book thoughts on Medium. Medium works on a royalty scheme, which means that you're not getting money from advertisers, you're getting money from your readers. Every time that a paying Medium member, that is someone who pays $5 a month to read unlimited stories on Medium, every time they read one of your book reviews, you are going to earn money. And the more people who read it, the more money you earn. I prefer this model because it's more of a direct relationship. You are creating value. The people who get that value are the ones who are paying you. There's no middle advertising man. For an added benefit, you can actually start getting views a lot faster than you would on a regular blog. You can piggyback off of fantastic publications like Books Are Our Superpower, post your reviews in publications like that, or create your own blog and just post your own content on those publications yourself. You don't need any SEO. You don't need to know anything about marketing or a website design or anything like that, you can literally create an account and start posting today and start growing your blog that way. And bonus, you can actually start cross-posting medium blogs onto your website and vice versa later on once you're ready to tackle that kind of um, that kind of avenue. Number four, let's talk about podcasts, baby. Podcasts are, they're like the same as book talk or bookstagram or booktube or whatever, um, except for instead of getting the video portion and the, the voice portion. You just get uh, the voice portion. Right now, uh, podcasts aren't really monetized the same way that a lot of other ones are. I think uh, podcasts mainly earn money through ad sponsorships or by selling products themselves. There's no like partnership program for most podcasts. But if your podcast grows bigger, you can start getting bigger sponsorships, maybe get a Patreon going. Um, again, you're gonna need a really unique angle if you wanna make money by reading books this way. But um, if you're, again, if you're already thinking about books and you're already like sharing your thoughts or maybe you and a friend love to talk about books all the time, regardless, this is a really, really great way to start building your base and start building a platform to earn money just for reading books. Number five, affiliate links. So uh, you, can, you can kind of weave affiliate links into all the methods that I've mentioned one through four above, but they're big enough that I want to give them their own category and call them out specially as a way to make money by reading books. So here's the really great thing. You don't even need any kind of social media account to make money reading books. You can make your first dollar by saying, hey, Susan, your sister. Susan, I just read this great book called Gideon the Ninth. It's it's just amazing. It's a romp. You've got to read it. Here's a link. By the way, Susan, it's an affiliate link. So that means that if you click on the book and buy it, I earn a small portion of that at no cost to you. That's the nice thing. And you can get a couple books that way instantly. Bookshop has a affiliate program where you get 10% of any sales that you send their way. So I love Bookshop, but um, Amazon has one. So you can actually put your affiliate links to books or to any other kind of product. Like if you have a, a reading desk that you love or a reading chair or reading snack, I don't know, reading miscellaneous accessories, you can mention those in your blog, in your Instagrams, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Use an affiliate link. And every time somebody buys one of your recommended products, you earn a small amount of money. The more people who buy them, the more money you make. That's it. It's super scalable. You can start by earning like a buck or two a month. And then as you start getting more views, more clicks, more buys, you'll grow and grow and grow without any additional effort on your part other than consistent posting. The way that I think it takes the most work but gives you the most freedom is social media. You have total control over what kind of books you read, how often you read them, but it's hard to make a profile. So there is that trade-off. That brings us to the end of the social media portion of this video. Let's talk about jobs next. What if the thought of creating all those different profiles and posting once per week on top of your regular day job is exhausting to you? Well, guess what? That's just avenue number one. We are about to stroll down avenue number two, freelancing or jobs. That's your, your second avenue of making money by reading books. These, some of these can be either a side hustle or a full career pivot. Some of these will need to be a career pivot if you want to be serious. Um, others are best only ever as side hustles. Let's talk about all of them. 
these options, narrate audiobooks. I love audiobooks. I listen to them all the time. Uh, Moira Quirk has got to be my favorite. She narrates the Gideon the Ninth uh, trilogy. The good news is people will pay you to read books. Um, you don't need to be especially talented. You don't need to have like a narration degree from University of narrating. You can just upload samples and then people will hire you to read their books. There are two different programs that I'm going to recommend. The number one is ACX, which is Amazon slash Audible's program. You can choose to either make money based on royalties, that is when somebody sells a book, you earn some money, or you can get paid a flat fee based on how much work you personally put into that project on a per hour basis. Rates typically start at $250 per hour or more, an hour of produced um, audio, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Find Away Voices is another option you can investigate. The, the rates are similar. One reason I mentioned Find Away Voices as an alternative is because Find Away Voices is really good about helping um, get authors into libraries in a way that ACX doesn't as much. Um, getting books into libraries is great for everybody, but also ultimately means more money for you. I recommend you upload samples to both and see how you get on. You can also become an editor. This is both a career option and a freelance option depending on how committed you are to it's versus it's. <laughs> you can either apply for full-time jobs or go on places like Upwork or Fiverr and look for editing gigs there. This is a really good way to get paid to read books because it's actually gonna strengthen your craft as well. So it's kind of like free on the job training. Number eight, become a literary agent. Now you will not be able to do this as a side hustle. Literary agents are full-time heroes. They do not do things part-time. I think it's one of the most romantic ways to to make money that you can think of. Like, just imagine it's your job to pick the overlooked manuscript and turn it into a book that other people are going to find. And I just think behind every book I've ever loved is a literary agent, somebody who saw the potential of the book years before I ever dreamed that it could exist. And they're responsible for a lot of the joy in my life. And, um, I think it's a really worthwhile career, so that's my tangent. If you don't have the right qualifications, and I mean, honestly, who amongst us does? Best place to start is with an internship and also to start networking heavily because your job it comes down a lot to just knowing the right people. This is a very, very competitive field, so this is a way to make money by reading books, but um, it's tough out there, so good luck. Number nine, translate books. Are you multilingual? Good for you. The amazing news is you can get paid to read books in one language and translate them into another. You can also proofread books in other languages. Places like FlexJobs, Fiverr, Upwork, Babelcube, and Ulatus are good places to look for those kinds of jobs. This can be a career, this can be a full-time job, or you can just do it freelance until you figure out what you want to do with your life. Number 10, proofread. More often than not, it's a, a freelance or a side hustle type situation. I think it's one of the best ways to make money reading books because the problem with a lot of the jobs that I've mentioned is you're seeing the book in the very early stages. And I don't know about you, but I like to read a polished novel. I like to read stuff that's already had a lot of um, work gone into it that makes it an enjoyable read. Proofreading lets you get in at the, almost their step. So you are coming in where the book is already done and that's gonna make your job of reading a lot more enjoyable. Number 11, design book covers. Whoa, curveball, what? Um, yeah, not all book reading jobs have to do with the written word. If you are talented with graphic design, A, I'm extremely jealous of you, B, that means that you can actually get a job designing book covers. You'll get to read books, you'll have to think about what the main image is, you'll have to talk to the author about what their vision is, and ultimately design a book cover and get paid for reading that book. Isn't that amazing? Again, and this is later in the process, so you'll get to read a much closer to finished book than, say, an editor or a literary agent would. And I think, again, it's you can't overstate how important the cover is in the success of a book. So just think of how responsible you'll be for how well a book does. And you're responsible for getting it into the hands of the readers who most are wanting to read that book. It's an incredible job. Getting a job is the most financially stable, uh, whether it's freelance or a full-time career or just a gig. Um, but you have the least control over the kinds of books you read. You'll be assigned books based on um, your clients you might like them, you might not. <laughs> so again, you'll get paid for reading books, but what books at what cost? Avenues one and two were a little convoluted. For avenue one, you had to make a whole new profile and like post a lot and finally start earning money through like ads or sponsors or affiliate links. Avenue two required applying to jobs and uh, maybe reading books that you didn't love. So that's why I'm really excited to talk about Avenue 3, which is the most straightforward way to earn money by reading books. And it is 
submitting reviews. It just involves three steps. You read a book, you pen your thoughts, and you submit it to one of the platforms that I'm about to mention. You can get paid anywhere between like a couple of bucks to all the way up to $200 per book review. So there's a big range. Um, the better you get, the more talented, the more well-known you are, the higher the money goes, obviously. Book list is the first option. Can you write 150 to 175 words about why you did or didn't like a book? You need to be able to describe the plot and you need to suggest an ideal audience. If that's you, then great. These pay $15 each, so you're not exactly gonna be breaking the bank, uh, but you don't need any degree, you don't need any qualifications, you can just start posting your thoughts and go from there. Number 13, the US review of books. It's a very grandiose name, isn't it? This is more like a freelance position. So you'll need to like contact the editor of the US Review of Books with your resume. You'll need to um, show some sample work. You'll need to have a couple of professional references. So this is like later on in your book reading for money career. Your review will have to be 250 to 300 words long. You'll have to have a summary, but also like go a step above and do some additional insight into what's good or what's bad about the book. The reviews are paid. Uh, we don't know how much because they don't say Thank you, the US Review of Books, for not being transparent, um, but you do get some money. 14, Readsy. Readsy operates a little differently. Um, you don't get money from them, you get money from Readsy readers who tip you. Tips are anywhere from $1 to $5, but it's a very simple method. You can just write a review, post it on the site, and wait for readers to give you a tip. I don't. I wouldn't expect to earn a lot of money this way, but maybe some. Number 15, Book Browse. Book browse is another good place to have a look. Um, again, they don't say how much, they say a modest payment, which I would take to mean somewhere between 15 to $50, who knows how much, not me. They typically assign one review per month to their reviewers. You'll have to apply with um, some samples before you'll be accepted. Number 16, online book club. So this was the one that was most exciting to me because I actually tested it out and uh, it was really cool the way it works. For your first review, you don't actually earn any money. You just get a free book, um, which is really cool, and you review it for no money. After that, though, you'll, they'll pay you somewhere between five to sixty dollars per book um, that you review, based on like how much other people. So, like you know, the hottest fantasy probably everybody wants to review is a. It'll be a low paid one. Um, if you're reading stuff that nobody else wants to review, I imagine that'll be on the higher end. You don't have to apply. You can just submit your email address and you'll be instantly ready to submit um, reviews and, and download your first book for free, which is really, really cool. Again, um, I was able to get started within an hour, which was amazing. The reviews are the least financially promising. Um, there's no way to scale apart from just reading tons and posting reviews and the prices are so low that you're never gonna make a real living just by submitting reviews of books you love. But it's a good place to get started. And I think even a modest, modest amount of money for somebody who reads books, <laughs> like getting paid $15 to review this book would be a dream come true for me. Okay, last two options. These are the more miscellaneous ones. So the first one I wanted to talk about was um, creating a paying book club. So this is something that I do. I pay $5 a month every month to join a book club um, run by people in Boston. I go, I read the book, I pay $5 to the organizer, and um, she organizes a place to get together and drink wine and talk about the book. It's a lot of fun. So again, it's not a career option, but if you just wanna make some money for reading books, hosting and organizing a paid book club is one really great option just to get your feet wet with the idea. Number 18, join apps that pay you to read. I could only find one app that purported to claim that they would pay you to read, and there was some funny business about exactly how it works. You read a book, you take a quiz on the app called Booksta, and then you earn Booksta coins based on your score. Booksta coins are valued by Booksta at $5 per Booksta coin. Um, I was not clear after looking at the site whether they would be transferable to real USD or whether that's simply a guess um, for what the coin will be worth once it's all on a blockchain platform as a currency. I am a little skeptical of anything that has blockchain <laughs> attached to it right now. Uh, but don't let my suspicions hold you back.
In my fantasy world, I would get paid for reading books like this uh, that I checked out from the library and I'd read them and I'd be like, hey, I read this book. And somebody would be like, amazing, have $200. Great job. Keep it up. That's my dream. Uh, that is a utopia that today doesn't exist, um, despite my fervid um, uh, manifestations, <laughs> but we haven't gotten there yet. I hope that this video review has helped you find a way of making money by reading books that works for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear what you thought of this video. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.